Hey, what up, everybody? Hey, I'm, um, I wanted to do a video of uh, my Dreamcast collection. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because um, I feel the Dreamcast is a very underrated system, and I don't know why. I mean, you know, well, my, my feelings is, is that when it came out, um, the dream, the, the PlayStation 2 just killed it right from the start, you know. And I'm, this video is kind of me just kind of talking about some of my favorite games, you know, why I started collecting uh, Dreamcast and stuff like that. Because I think next to like the Neo Geo, um, you know, the Dreamcast and the Genesis are right in there, man. Those are like my top three, you know, right there. I really, I really like uh, those systems, man. And uh, like I said, I think the um, Dreamcast is very underrated, you know, and I really like this system, I mean, just the things that it has. So I'm going to just kind of talk about some of the stuff I got when I started collecting, you know, and I remember, you know, this is just kind of me thinking about back in uh, 9999 when it first came out. I remember one of my boys was uh, asking me, tell, well, he was waiting, you know, he buys this stuff day one. You know, so he could, he just, you know, he'll go out there midnight and, and, you know, wait for it so he could buy his. And I'm like, no, man, I'm going to wait. You know, I ain't going to, I am, you know, I'm going to wait. You know, I'm going to, because I, I always the type that will wait. I'm going to buy a system as soon as it comes out, you know, because I figure it's going to drop. Eventually the game's going to drop. I can see what it has on it and I can, uh, you know, pick up my games, you know, cheap. You know, I got enough systems. I figured in that could last me to the game drop. So, Thursday, he went and bought it, told me he got it, he was all excited, you know, about it and stuff like that, you know, talking about how good Soul Calibur was, and I'm going to go over some of my uh, favorite games here too in a minute, but, you know, but talking about how good Soul Calibur was and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, okay, that's cool, man, you know, I'll check it out or whatever, you know, so, come Thursday, you know, Friday, Saturday, I see a Target ad, right, Target said, because I'm, I'm considering buying the Dreamcast anyway, you know, because he's hyping it all up, you know. So, Saturday come, and I see, um, uh, 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 what is it, what is it, Target had the Dreamcast on sale, and they included this bag. So I said, okay, that's enough of me making excuses. I said, I'm going to go ahead, because I can get a freebie too, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and get this bag with my Dreamcast. You know, so I ended up, you know, a couple days later just going in and buying my Dreamcast too, man. And I was happy that I did too, you know, because uh, some of the first games that I ended up buying for it uh, was that Soul Calibur, which was, you know, everybody knows that you played the Dreamcast, man, how uh, great a game that Soul Calibur is. And I think what we surged me is even to want to do this video. Because I kind of been watching a lot of people out there <coughs> talking about, <coughs> just talking about how um, the um, what are they talking about the um, VGA, you know, talking about that VGA, right? So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm like, I could, I could do the regular. I said I played the regular one. I had an S video cable that I was. Using very rarely use it. I said, you know, I like, I like these Smurfs on here too, you know, I'm a big Smurf fan, so, you know, <clears throat> so I said, okay, this is what I'll do. I'll go buy me one of them cheapy VGAs just to see how it is, right? And what I was going to do with this too, I was actually going to hook, hook my monitor up while I was talking about this too, but basically, when I saw that VGA, I was like, man, I see the Christmas of that. Now, even some of my, some of my other friends, you know, we would have get-togethers and stuff. And uh, he had his uh, uh, Dreamcast hooked up to a monitor, you know. And then the monitor, you know, he's talking about the, the uh, uh, Dreamcast goodness, you know, with the um, VGA. You know, and I'm like, whatever, you know, whoop do You know what I mean? I'm like, I, you know, I didn't see that big of a difference. But as I got older, started playing the system more, you know, really start seeing what high definition is all about as opposed to just regular composite video, you know. And I'm like, man, it is a big difference. So I ended up getting a better, I could buy the um, retro bit, 
think Retro Bit does a uh, um, VGA. So I definitely recommend it to anybody who uh, is um, uh, won a um, Dreamcast and one of the better quality. Like people talk about how good Shimu look and all of that type of stuff. I'm like, eh, it's nice, man. It's, it's definitely nice. No doubt about that, man. I got to say. So I'm happy. I'm happy with it, you know. But, so and like I said, for me. I'm gonna show you some of my games, you know, my favorite games. I got you can see I got a lot more games, but these are some of my favorite ones that stand out here and with my systems and stuff too. So I'm gonna kinda just let's talk about some of the games here. Why don't we why don't we just do that? You know, as you can see, uh, some of the different systems. I'll show you some of the different systems here first, I guess, since I'm just going and just talking anyway. But you know. The Hubble Kitty system, which I'll show, this is my prize piece, I got to tell you, because um, I'm just like the Dreamcast, so, man, and I'm like, you know, I, I'm not, I don't care that it's pink, I like that it's pink, you know what I mean? So I'm like, this is just a cool system to me, man, and it's Hello Kitty, you know, and it's pink, it came with the um, Hello Kitty uh, pink controller, you know, the Hello Kitty pink VMU, uh, and the, uh, Hello Kitty pink keyboard, you know, which I thought was pretty cool, you know, that I can play Type of the Dead, which I got too, which is another fun game, by the way, if you like House of the Dead, and I'll segue into that, because these, let's look at these uh, guns right here, and I, I really hated that, um, that they didn't come out with these guns here in America, because um, these guns, man, really nice. I mean, uh, and I got, of course, I got two of them, you know, I'm going to just take one out and take a look at them. I know mean, you've probably seen them, but um, <clears throat> the guns are really cool. And I remember my guy up in the video game store, a friend of mine, he was, he had his Dreamcast, you know, because he worked in the video game store. He always had his stuff first. So he had the Japanese Dreamcast. He had um, Japanese PS2 when it came out. I remember playing, uh, what is that, Tech and Tag on that. You know, but that's another story. But anyway, um, when I saw these guns, man, I mean, just everything about the drink, that, look how nice that is, man. You know what I mean? That's just, you don't see the stuff like this. The VMU goes right in there. You know, they got the, you know, just, just nice, man. I really, I really like that, you know. Really, really like that, man, you know. And uh, then a the fishing pole. You know, the fishing pole was actually kind of cool too. You know, I like that. I figured, you know, I played a little bass fishing on it. I said, it's fun. You know, I said, I like that they had these little novelties that they were uh, playing. <clears throat> oh, and here's the mouse too. I just recently got this, by the way. So I figured, you know, I figured I'd pick up that mouse. Got a uh, box. And I bought this when it first came out too. You know, I had so many controllers, I never really opened this one up so I just kept this one here too and I got some of the different colored uh, VMUs of course that's the green one with my green controller there steel box that's some um, uh, blue one blue one there and, uh, what's this one there's a smoke black one there too and this one this one is actually pretty nice we'll talk about this in a minute because uh, this is that um, four and one uh, steel box, you know, it was never open, but I got a couple of them around here, too. I think one of them actually is in my uh, controller right here. So here, look at that right there. So I like the idea. I like the VMU, you know, I like that. But I like that it was four and one that you could add more uh, stuff on these, you know, as they started producing more games, you got more memory. So these are really nice. I think these are pretty sought after now, too, you know, so... It was nice to be able to pick those up. And speaking of the arcade sticks, oh my goodness, man. You talking about nice arcade sticks, man. These sticks here, I mean, oh my goodness, so responsive. And we'll talk about some of the fighting games a minute, a minute to play these on too, you know. And I got them, I had two of them here, two still uh, box, you know. Of course you gotta have two of them to play the fighting games, you know, so. But man, these sticks really, really, really well made and just tanks. Just tanks, man. Just really, really nice sticks. You know, 
Yeah. There's some of my system too, like this. This is a Japanese uh, Dreamcast, a Hello Kitty. It's a Japanese one. Uh, this one. Let me do this. Uh, this is a Japanese white one, and the reason why you know it's the model numbers on them, you know, the model numbers on them, this is a, um, a 20, a 3010, uh, uh, HKT 2010, uh, and it said Japanese on it too, so uh, N-T-S-C-J, so, but, you know, I wanted a Japanese one, and uh, I actually got a converter over there. That CDX, I'll show you that when I'm showing the games. That it play U.S. games on the Japanese system. It play Japanese games on the U.S. system. And of course, I got the U.S. one two, and that's my box one. That's my zero, uh, Rev zero U.S. one. Uh, that got the, the um, water cool system in it. If anybody know about those, I got. The, I did another video on that. I talked about that when I got that. If you want to see that? You can. This, this one got a water cool system in it too, and so does this one. Not this one, but the, um, what is it, Japanese one? The Japanese one, yeah, this is a Japanese one. It has that too. So, and then the Sports Edition one, of course, is pretty nice because the U.S. only really did two. They did the white one, uh, and then they did the Sports Edition one. The Japanese one, um, they did a lot of different versions on those, man. That C-Man one is really nice. I like that C-Man TV that they did uh, with the monitor built in. They got a karaoke system, which is actually pretty cool, too. That's a lot of nice stuff for the Dreamcast, man. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. Here's another keyboard under here, too. I bought this, maybe, I think, from the Dreamcast store. Steel box right there, but, um, you know. But anyway, but with the bag, I got two... There's the controller with it too. And I got two more black controllers in my bag here. You know, got two more black controllers. Uh, as well as uh, a few more memory cards in here too. I got the regular white ones in here. I got a few. Uh, the white ones are pretty cool too. You know, I like the idea that you can link these. You know, those are the two, the two white ones. What was nice about these is that if you had some or your friend had something and you wanted to swap a file, you could just link them together like that, man. Awesome, awesome. That was, like, like I said, this for me, man, it was really, really cool that they did that. You know, the only thing that was disappointing about this is that you could swap Soul Caliber files. <laughs> you know, because everybody was in that Soul Caliber back then. You couldn't swap those files for. But um, that was doing doing was some fun times, man. I tell you, boy. Like I said, I have a lot of fun memories with this Dreamcast, you know. Now, also, uh, I got another black Dreamcast too. So, you know. So, like I said, I'm mean, that's why I said I just want to do a video to show you some of the stuff I have, man. Because I'm really into my Dreamcast, man. I like it's, it's just a really nice system. It's just a really, really nice system. So here, let's talk about some of these games here. You know, so this this game here was actually yeah, I can just, I'll scoop this up. I'll scoop this up and put this here. So I'll do the what are these? These are the fighting games here. I guess I got a stack of fighting games. I got a stack of smuffs because these are my favorite two games on the system. But then, of course. I had to show this Shemu 2. Now this Shemu 2 only came out in the PAL version. Uh, and uh, I recently, this was a recent pickup, and I, I, I played this on the Xbox, I got it on the Xbox, and I think I might have beat it, it's been a while, but I'm in the process of playing it now too. And since I'm talking about that, I'm gonna show you how I'm playing that. Since it's a PAL version, and I don't have a PAL version, but the CDX, which is a nice thing to have. It allows you to play uh, Japanese games on U.S. systems, U.S. games on Japanese systems, or PAL games, and so forth. Um, you know, which is nice. So this is uh, this is kind of hard to come by too. You don't hardly see these out a lot. So you know, this is a good thing to have if you want to be able to play your games. Uh, so I kind of I kind of like that. But the um, Shimu Two, like I, said, I was really happy to get this. Uh, you know, to play this, so I'm in the process of playing that now. 
some of my other games, these are fighting games now. Um, well, let's see, Counter Spike, we'll do Counter Spike. So, Counter Spike, of course, this is the US version of Counter Spike. This one, like, it's just incredible to me how these games are just up in price now. I mean, it's, it's getting ridiculous to try to collect for the Dreamcast game now. I mean, the really good ones. I mean, you know, these games, uh, you'll come across them, they wasn't uh, outrageous, but now they're outrageous for these games, man. You know, so it's nice to have, be able to have these games and to be able to play these games. So, you know, I got that Cannon Spike. Project Justice is another one, you know, Rival is the sequel to Rival Schools, which is an excellent PlayStation game, you know, so this is good for the Dreamcast. Dreamcast, I tell you, as far as fighters go, and uh, Smuffs, man, they really, that, that Naomi system really carried its weight, you know, they were really, really nice, but Rival Schools is another good one I got here. Now, these two, which um, I hear are kind of, uh, getting hard to come by too, but since I'm a big Neo fanboy, uh, Lab Blade 2, man, this is really nice on the Dreamcast. I love, I love Dreamcast and, and the, so to have this and the Neo, since I'm both a Neo fanboy and a Dreamcast fanboy, to have it on the same system is uh, on the Dreamcast is really, really nice to have, man. And um, the other one here is. Um, Fatal Fury, uh, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Another excellent, excellent game to have, uh, you know, so for the Dreamcast. So I bought this. Gotta gotta admit, one of my boys hit me up on this one. Um, he was playing it. I like, you know, I like people that play. He was one of the guys that play different fighting games. You know, some people are like, oh, I only play King of Fighters. I only play uh, um, 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 uh, Street Fighter, you know. But my man, he, he, he plays everything, you know what I mean? You know, I go over his house, I'm like, what is that? You know, he don't mind getting in the, you know, he play Melty Blood and just all types of different things. That's how he got me. So when he had this, I'm like, man, this is how I got first hit to Garo. You know, now I got Garo on the MBS for my Neo, but um, man, and Garo is a nice game that anybody knows about Garo, but it's nice to have this on the Dreamcast too because it plays really nice. So, segueing into the Capcom games now, uh, here is another nice game. Now, this game is actually still sealed. I never opened it. I wanted to, you know, I never got around to it. And uh, since I own them, you know, I figured I could back them up. So, I backed up a lot of my games and I play them that way. But um, this is the uh, uh, Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, you know, for matching service. Uh, Grandmaster Challenge, like I said, it's still sealed, so this is going for some chip now too, you know. But like I said, it's it's nice to have in my collection because, like I said, I didn't pay a lot when I bought it, but I just never got around to opening it. Now that Dreamcast is hot, you know, these games are just skyrocketing, you know. Now this particular game, as far as fighting games go, I mean, I, I love my Neo stuff. You know, and Street Fighter too. Of course, who's not a Street Fighter fan? But uh, Capcom versus SNK two. Uh, why they didn't come out with this in the U.S.? I think probably because um, the Dreamcast was on its way out. I mean, it didn't last long. With a couple years here in the U.S., once uh, once uh, the PlayStation hit, that PlayStation two hit, man, it pretty much devastated the Dreamcast, which is unfortunate. You can see it's such a beautiful, beautiful system, but this is my favorite fighting game because it combines the Street Fighter characters, it combines the S and K characters, and it's balanced. You know that's what's really cool about it. And if you can, if you really get into it, you know to get to the end to be able to play Garu Gal or to play Shin Akuma, they come at you. They come at you. You know what I mean? And that's, that's just great, man, you know, to be able to play Evil and Ori, um, you know, and I go, I would go to locally some, like say some of the gatherings around, some of the uh, fighting tournaments and stuff like that, and some of the guys that are really, really good, I ain't even put myself on that level, but um, I got to know them and, and, and talk to some of those guys, and they show me some tips, man, and it just made this game even more fun, man, I mean, this is really, really, really like I said, my favorite 
favorite fighter. This is my number one fighter right here. I got to honestly say. So with that being said, now that brings me to this. This is the um, fan disc. So uh, the fan disc. Uh, what's What's nice about this is that it has um, it has uh, uh, matches of programmers, uh, some of the tournaments that you could actually download to your DMU, and once you put the game in, you can go to the extra options and view those matches, which is pretty sweet. And I think, too, it gives you some other characters for Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or something, something like that. I know it gives you extra options, too, so it's really a good disc to have, too, if you're into this game or into Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You know, it's, it's definitely a good game. And speaking of that, how can you go wrong with this? Everybody knows that this is a classic. Now, like I said, I, I got like uh, Capcom versus SNK, Capcom versus SNK Pro, um, Marvel versus Capcom, Marvel versus Capcom 2. I mean, I got them over there, but like I said, these are just some of my favorites. Because I got, you know, I don't want to, you know, have all my games out just showing anything. But this, these are some of my favorite fighters. Now, some of my favorite shooters, um, Shikigami no Shero 2, uh, is really nice. It's another, it's one of those hell shooters. Uh, anybody knows Smugs, you know, Shikigami no Shero is right up in there too. Uh, but I'm working on this. So I'm trying to work on this to, um, to beat it for one, you know, and if I could one credit it, I'll, I'm going to upload that. I'm working on, I'm working on trying to one credit it, but. Believe me, it's a difficult task. So <laughs> that's why you ain't seen it. But man, you know, this I got for, it came out on different systems too. It came out on the uh, Xbox, uh, came out on the PlayStation, I think USA and Japanese. I think I got them on both of those. And Shikigami 3 came out on the Wii. So I got that too. But, you know, I wanted them Dreamcast. I mean, because it's nice to play on the Dreamcast. And like I say, to play with that VGA is really crisp. Really, really crisp. Shops. I, I really, really enjoy this game right here too. Uh, another good smut, Zero Gunner 2. Zero Gunner 2, man. And like I say, this is how, how I found out a lot of, uh, about this smut. Again, going to, I think this was a Neo Gathering. People go to the Neo Gathering, people know they bring all types of stuff. I went to Neo Gathering, and one of the guys says, Top, he's up there, man. I give him his props. He, he, he buy, he's spending his money on his game. And uh, he's the one that had the VGA. Uh, he had this hooked up to it. Um, and this game, as soon as I saw it, the next day, I went out and bought this game. You know, because what was cool about it was I liked how it's not, you go, your ship is not just going left and right, forward and back and diagonal. Your ship can turn 360. And anybody knows about Zero Gunner 2, you know that this is a really good game. And this too was getting up there in price too. But it's worth it. This is really 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 a nice game uh, and then who can set who can you know who can dispute border down border down is one of my favorite smups on the Dreamcast too um, because it's so challenging the last boss I mean it's really it's really complicated man you know it's just a lot of intricate stuff on it man I mean I just G Rev is probably my favorite smug maker. I mean, I like Cage. Who doesn't like Cage shooters? But um, G Rev is my favorite man. Cause I mean, they did this. They did Under Defeat, um, and uh, I can't think of a couple other ones that they did. But these, those two are my two favorite smugs. You know that I like. But this, this is really, really. I like G Rev, man. It's border down. Get it. You know before it gets crazy. And Karuga. You know, this is another good one, Treasure. You know, you know, Treasure makes an excellent game. Some, some some people don't like the color swap and change thing on it, you know. And I'm not that good at it, but it's very it's a very good game, man. And I watch some people I beat it too, by the way. I mean it took me I didn't think one credit it, but I beat it. Um, but just to watch some people who can one credit it on a difficulty level and watching them switching back and forth. And just man, it's just it's just a work of art to watch that man. That's why I really like why I like games like these. And it's really really nice. So you know, everybody knows uh, it can rule them. It's a really good game. Now here's two other games I got: uh, Giga Wing One 
and Giga Wing 2. Both of these are still sealed too. I never got around to opening these up, like I said, since I was able to back them up. So, you know, so I just played my backup. But uh, these two are definitely out of hand, especially that Giga Wing 2, you know, sealed copy. The sealed copy of any, any Dreamcast games is just ridiculous. But, you know, but it's kind of nice to have these, like I say, because I'm into my smut. So, you know, Giga Wing 1 and Giga Wing 2, really nice. So, now, lastly, because again, like I said, these are my favorite smugs, uh, is uh, Under the Feet. And Under the Feet is just, I don't, know, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, you know, this, for me to be able to see the graphics, the bosses, the, you know, just to see uh, the helicopter. I think Zero Gunner was good too as far as helicopter, you know, smugs go. But this Under the Feet, man, if you haven't played this, this, you know, it can, I got, I have it, it came out on the, um, PS3, too, like, uh, Under the Feet HD, which is good, too, it actually added an extra ship, too, but, man, on the Dreamcast, this is the one that you want to get, man, it's challenging, it's fun, it'll keep you coming back for more, you know, so I figured out, this is the one I would close on, because I figured this is the one, you know, that did it for me here. Uh, so, you know, th thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it, you know, for y'all checking out my videos again. And like I said, I really wanted to show my Dreamcast stuff because I just don't feel that um, the Dreamcast gets the love, you know, that it should. I think this is one of the best systems out there, and um, I think people should appreciate it, you know. So, thanks for watching my video. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'll get something out there again to you, you know, again, again, I appreciate everybody uh, watching my videos and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to show you um, some more of my stuff, you know, I like being able to go digging through stuff that I forgot I had, I mean, I've, I've been doing this since the early 90s, but anyway, I don't want to keep going there too long, but again, thank you and peace.